Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are coming off of the craziest day of content basically ever in FIFA 22 with all the TOTS upgrade packs and then EA dropping a loading screen and even content related to the Shapeshifters promo. This starts tomorrow on Friday. When have we gotten a promo where EA has released SBCs and objectives that kind of tie in and work together, but just content for a promo that doesn't even start until a day from now, more than a day from now. This is crazy. So all of this combined with the TOTS upgrade packs, not just one, but the two TOTS upgrade packs that we had yesterday. Everybody knows about them, right? The 94 plus player pick and the 93 plus efix tots i got some insane pulls from especially this 93 plus efix right here and some regular efix tots we'll talk about those and these cards these sbcs literally dropped the market they crashed card prices and they made some fodder cards go extinct because so many people were selling cards to go and run to do these uh player picks and these sbcs from yesterday so we're going to talk about all that and more in today's video if you're excited for shapeshifters or if you think that ultimate tots has literally been the best ultimate team in the season week ever hit the thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you are new now i want to start off by actually looking back at yesterday and talking about these 93 4 plus and 93 plus uh team of the season packs that we had and then we'll work our way into the shapeshifter stuff towards the later part of the video but i mean we have to talk about this because it's impacting prices on this game right now the 94 plus tots player pick dropping yesterday no leaks for this really i think there was maybe one or two leaks uh but it wasn't really widespread so this came as a huge surprise now it is 386,000 coins but I'm telling you guys, these are absolutely nuts. If you, like I was even mentioning in yesterday's video, uh, we were talking about the EFIX TOTS pack, comparing that to the regular TOTS pack and saying that one was better to do. You know, if you don't have that much fodder and you're like, Nate, if I'm trying to do one of these upgrades, which one do I do? This is the one because this player pick right here is giving out so many good uh, TOTS players. Of course. There are some bad ones. I got Oscar, right? I had a pretty bad one, but I got pack luck in other places yesterday. That was pretty great. Um, but just these in general, one of three 94 plus team of the season players rated 94 or higher. We were packing and Kunku's, Lewandowski's, like this SBC. Yes, it's expensive, but it is worth the gamble because the players that were coming out of it were absolutely massive. And it was such fun to do, so much fun. Craftable with upgrade packs. And it impacted the market a ton. Let's start off by talking about fodder, of course. We talked about investing in fodder this last weekend. I had no idea that this is how things were going to go. I'll be completely honest. 86s are still hovering around that point of being extinct at 16,000 coins apiece. Almost all 86s yesterday were extinct at 16K. 87s are up here in the, in the low 20s. These cards are nearing being their extinct price range uh, maxes as well. You know, 84s are 5,000 coins a card. 85s are almost 10,000 coins a card. It is crazy how high fodder has exploded, basically because of these two SBCs right here, because everybody wants to go out and do them and gamble and give uh, have a chance at doing them. Now, these are not repeatable. Just one time you do it and you're done, but they are so incredible that it's a GG. No ultimate tots guaranteed, but I'll be honest, I would take this over an ultimate tots guaranteed any day. This was fantastic, man. I'm telling you. So, 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 so good. It was incredible. So since the fodder went up, of course, everybody was running to do this SBC. What happened to the rest of the market? Well, as a lot of you guys probably saw, prices everywhere dropped really really bad now some of them have rebounded a little bit right Teo hernandez was 520k rafael Leal was like 1.05 mil you know i bought jude bellingham at 1.05 he's now at 1.2 million coins ben Yedder is up 100k from where he was paqueta was down bad chameni is up a lot from where he was and kuku was like 450 and so many people were packing him and he rebounded but a lot of these ultimate tots prices dropped off big time yesterday which created a scenario where there was a lot of panic selling potential to buy a few cards uh, i bought some graven birch i bought some tonali i bought you felix at like 480k Militao at 420. There's the Jude Bellingham. Like, I bought a lot of cards yesterday in the panic selling. Uh, Taliska for 285. And a lot of these cards have bounced back just off of rarity. I'm probably going to start to take some of the coins 
on these cards. Um, you know, and I, I'll be honest, I don't think anybody expected this sort of crazy content to happen this week during Ultimate Tots. That's why, oh, they already added the, uh, they already added the Shapeshifters card design in here. Nice. Good to see that. It's now in the uh, search filter section. Uh, but none of us this week were expecting this crazy of content uh, from EA. And I know that a lot of you guys maybe bought, you know, some Ultimate Tots cards for your team on the weekend when we had the market drop. And you're like, Nate, I'm, I'm losing a lot of coins now. And yeah, I mean, that's just the way that it rolls. Usually, you know, EA disappoints during Ultimate Tots. That's how it's been the past couple of years. And this year, they have literally done the exact opposite of that. And they have shown out for Ultimate Team this season, and it's been fantastic. So a lot of your cards are down. Yes, I think yesterday during that panic selling, that created a ton of opportunity to, to buy some cards um, at cheaper prices, basically the cheapest prices that we have ever seen for a lot of these cards. Modric was in like 260 or 250. Um, and like I mentioned, some of the low prices that you saw yesterday were, you know, in my opinion, probably the low point for a lot of these ultimate team of the season cards uh, before they go out of packs tomorrow on Friday and the shapeshifters come back into packs. Muhammad Salah was like, um, he's what, what is he right now? 880. He was down to like 800K flat. So I know these cards are all down and they're still pretty low. If there's more panic selling today on Thursday, feel free to go ahead and snatch them up because it's the end game, right? I'm really trying to encourage you guys to go out and use the cards that you want to use. And yes, the market has been very, very volatile this week. And some of you guys have lost coins, but you know, you're, I still want you guys to have fun and use the cards that you want to use. So that's when I, that's why I've been encouraging people just to go and buy as well. Um, and I know that coins are important and, you know, maybe a little bit less important at this stage of the game because it's the end of the game. Uh, but that's the focus, right? Go and have fun. If you want to try out some of these cards because they've dropped down in price a lot, feel free. Uh, yesterday created a fantastic opportunity to basically do some of that or to try to make coins kind of like what i'm doing even though i don't really need to uh it's still it's it's still fun right and, and yesterday created a great scenario for that if you still have sbc fodder just to get back on that conversation here for a second when would i sell these cards um basically all of this content expires on friday like the 94 plus the 93 plus all that stuff goes away on friday and i think you would want to start to cash out on these cards yesterday uh was probably a little bit of the peak during like when the SBC first came out, that was probably the sell time for like your extinct 86s and stuff like that. But I would look to get out on these cards today. Probably some more Thursday lightning rounds. We'll have marquee matchups coming out as well. Um, and hopefully, I mean, kind of we have to, the last tot swap token, because we are still 24 out of 25 tokens. We need one more. Some people need that, myself included. I need that pack to do my last little grind I need, I need to finish it up so i can do my icon swap token and turn it in and get the rewards uh or not icon swap tot swaps but i think i would sell this fodder i mean you've seen incredible rises on these cards this week more than what we ever expected but that's just because this has been some absolutely mental mental content from ea sports and we have zero complaints at least i don't because i think this is an unbelievable insane content so that's kind of an overview of what's going on with the market right now really a lot of cards and i bet if we take a look at some flipping graphs this will be really really easy to see in packs cards for ultimate tots out of packs cards there was basically this big dip yesterday because everybody was just shocked and surprised uh at how insane the content was like a 94 plus tots like what you know player pick so big panic selling and then nice rebound um and some cards are still back down a little bit that's why i'm probably going to maybe take the cash on a few of the cards that i bought like i bought a couple grab and birch at 440 450 sorry 330 340 350 he's back up to 419k you know actually i, I did not look at militao did militao bounce yeah militao is like 460 but did he go higher earlier usually you get your biggest bounce pretty soon after yeah he went to 470 um, and then now he's he, uh, he's still right around 470. So that's a W though. Crazy movements on the market. Price is dropping even more. Um, and it, it was just a wild day of content on, on FIFA yesterday. That's just the best. That's the only way to put it. It was it was absolutely wild. Now, you guys might be asking like, Nate, you've teased yourself getting some insane pack pulls. Who did you get? Well, my like I said, my 94 plus was not that good. I got Oscar, right? Okay. My 93 plus e fix, I somehow packed myself a... Modric, Luka Modric, uh, that was pretty mental. I thought that was going to be my best pull of the day until I opened a regular E-Figs Tots upgrade and out comes Sadio Mane. Uh, yes, that was not a compensation pack. By the way, they have not compensated yet. 
um, as I look at their Twitter, no tweets about them, um, you know, doing compensation just yet. So we're still waiting on some more information there. But uh, that was an incredible pull as well. So the red list luck continues after a little bit of a hiatus. Um, still haven't packed any insane ultimate tots cards. Mike Don three times and Trent once. That's the counter going up for you there if you're keeping track with the counter on the, on the screen. Um, yeah, so the upgrade packs have not been hitting, but those tots packs have been and they've been absolutely fan freaking fantastic so you know a lot of what today on thursday is going to be is probably i don't expect it to be as crazy of a day we never had the lacazette sbc which i was pretty surprised not to see that um yesterday we i thought we were going to have it and we didn't so you know maybe we'll see that lacazette today on thursday i think that was a pretty solid leak so i would be pretty expectant of that sbc coming today and then um that would be a nice way to end off kind of like the end of an era push that they did uh with some of these cards in the last you know week or so it'd be nice to end off with one really pretty good end of an era card with Lacazette so I think that's going to come today the token that I talked about coming today and then marquee matchups but Thursdays have been pretty quiet days so apart from the regular tots packs that we can do you know I think it's going to be a build-up day more leaks for um the team of shapeshifters is absolutely going to be leaked today right now all we have are a couple um sbc leaks and an objective leak and we'll talk about that in a second but just to stick with content in the menus right now um i think your e-figs are going to re-up today your tots upgrades are going to re-up of course and then uh you know yeah like i said marquee matchups lock is that that should probably be all of our content that we see on this game now let's talk about shapeshifters because not only do we have a loading screen but we actually have an SBC that is related to our next promo. Now, how often does this happen? They dropped a daily login upgrade SBC. That when I saw those green colors, I was, I was like, that's the Shapeshifters colors from FIFA 20. What's going on here? So I, went, I was like, daily login upgrade. I know there's going to be some objectives involved with this, right? So we went to objectives and we, we found this. If you complete the daily login SBC seven times starting yesterday... This objective is out for basically a week starting last Wednesday. Um, you get some pretty sick rewards. You get a one of 80 plus player pick. Then there's an 81 plus, 82 plus, 84 plus, and then a one of four, 85 plus. And then you get a TOTS pack, an E-Fix TOTS pack. And if you do all seven, you get the big reward right here, which is a Shapeshifters player pack, guaranteeing you a card from the current promo team that will be out. It's basically like a... Tots guaranteed pack on a different promo that instead of having to go and do an SBC for, you do seven SBCs for and you get it done then. I, that's not bad. These daily login SBCs are usually really, really cheap and that's pretty incredible. So I'm a huge fan of this concept. I think this is a W. It's a great kind of like SBC grind that gets done in objectives, but these are always really easy. And an 81 plus uh, little pack that you get as well for the login upgrade. Don't sleep on those. Those can sometimes be pretty banging as well. So you might be like, Nate, what is going on with shapeshifters? We really can't learn too much from the loading screen that they show, but shapeshifters is a promo that we have had before. And if you have not been playing FIFA or if you don't know what Shapeshifters is, I just want to talk about it a little bit and maybe how it's going to look this year in FIFA 22 to end off this video. But Shapeshifters is all about, it's all about the position changes, right? Think about cards that they, they shapeshift, you know, like in FIFA 20, we had the Atal striker card. We had a Marcelo center attacking mid, Mara is center attacking mid. We had a David Luiz CDM card, a Rat Ben Yedder right wing item, a CDM Mbabu, a left back Renato Sanchez. It seems kind of crazy, right? But it just gives you an opportunity to use cards uh, in different positions that they might be really good at in game, right? Again, you take a look at the second team here, you know, a, a center attacking mid Richarlison, a center defensive mid Ferland Mendy. Everybody remembers this card, right? Left back Ricardo Perea, right wing Ronaldo, striker Vinny. Center back Conte, so many people love that card. So Shapeshifters in FIFA 20 was a two-week promo where they basically just did exactly what Foot Sheriff says is expected this year. Position changes, a few skill move weak foot upgrades, and it's basically like a second, it's, it's like it's like an extension of team of the season, is what it really seems like it's going to be. Because based off of some of the leaks, actually the first leaked card that we have. This Carrasco has already had a team of the season card this year. So hopefully we don't see a lot of overlap. But again, like I said yesterday, I really feel like Shapeshifters this year is going to be 
EA giving cards that didn't get TOTS items a TOTS level boost and then just changing their positions to keep it hype, throwing a skill mover weak foot upgrade on there for some cards. And, you know, that, that'll keep some hype going into the summer a little bit longer um, with some pretty dope cards coming out for this as well. So this is our first leak. Now, these are only SBCs. We have two SBCs and one objective that is leaked. Carrasco is the first one, a center attacking mid. Stats are not confirmed, but... That could be a pretty dope card. I think that some people are not happy with it though because he just had a Community Tots card about a month ago. That was our most recent version of Carrasco. So people are like, come on EA, let's do something original here and not just give us the same card over and over. I 100% uh, agree with that. Next one, Felipe Anderson. Now I did his Headliners card earlier this year. I think it was an objective. Really, really good item. Getting a left side to right side position change. Hopefully a five-star skill move boost. He's got crazy finesse shots. Brazilian right wing. People always love a Brazilian right wing, right? He um, Predicted stats as well. So hopefully they give him 99 pace. That would be a crucial part of this card as well. Um, a nice upgrade over his headliners. So those are only two cards that we have leaked right now. And those are actually both SBCs. Just to make that clear, I think today on Thursday, we're going to see more leaks of who is actually in the team and maybe he's going to just post the whole team at once anyway we will see since it's kind of later on in the week now we also have our objective and if you're like nate what's going on with the car designs here uh those were leaks that happened before the official car design was dropped but uh here is the actual car design for gerhardt not sure on the position but um that objective card just looks okay right not terrible just Okay, so there's that. That's all that we know about shapeshifters right now, really. Uh, except for the loading screen with the car design, there's really not any hints on there. If we can just go back out and, and take a look at that again. But uh, this just looks like it's going to be a continuation of Team of the Season. Now, what I'm really struggling to like come up with in my mind is how is EA going to keep the upgrade pack content or keep the SBC content rolling during this week of shapeshifters Coming off of this absolutely mental week of Ultimate Tots, I don't think they're going to be able to just do it. I don't think they can keep up the pace. I don't think they will have to or want to keep up the pace. I still think that they're going to be releasing Tots upgrade packs throughout Shapeshifters. As you can tell, like in the objectives for the daily login upgrade, there are there's a Tots pack and an Efix Tots pack that is actually in there as a part of the rewards. I still think that we're going to see like 94 plus TOTS, 93 plus E-Fakes. These sorts of upgrade packs, I think they're going to reappear again in the coming weeks, whatever promo that we're in. This is just good gamble pack content that people will want to do for the rest of the summer because it gives you a chance at a high rated team of the season card. Think about how they kept re-releasing like the uh, the year in review SBC a couple months ago uh, and stuff like that. They just kept re-releasing that because people wanted the gamble. I think we're still going to see packs like this even after this week of ultimate tots, but they're going to have to keep doing that to keep like they've raised the bar so high right now with how the content's been during ultimate tots. They got to, they got to keep pushing it because um, you know, that's just where they've set the bar right now. So especially since it's really towards the end of the year, if they lower the bar a lot or honestly, like at all, that's going to, you know, discourage people from continuing to play this game. And one thing that's actually going to discourage people from playing weekend league, myself included is weekend leagues changing back to the old time frame, the old um, hours, if you will. It's going to start early on Friday instead of late on Friday, and it's going to end early Monday morning instead of ending on a Wednesday morning. So we are back to the normal uh, foot champion schedule. So for somebody like me, I was really only playing weekend league because I had the extra two days to do it. And now that I don't have that opportunity to do so, I'm probably not going to be playing Weekend League unless the rewards look really good. And as of right now, I'm pretty sure the rewards are still not added incorrectly. I don't know if there's any confirmation in this. And it looks like my game may have just crashed for whatever reason because it is now bugging out. So I'll have to reset the game. That's weird. Maybe they're like updating Weekend League rewards right now. And that's why I can't see it. I don't know what's happening with that. But um, the Weekend League rewards, I think are going to be eFix Tots. And I think they're going to have like a 91 plus. There was actually a pack code that was added um, yesterday. Yeah, it was right here. This this picture right here, a 91 plus e-figs slash minor tots player. These are the like the tradable packs, I believe. Uh, and then, you know, putting in the rewards packs. I think what's EA is doing right here, adding these cards and packs to the game. Um, and that makes me think that the red picks are probably going to be 91 plus e-figs. 
and minor TOTS 3 player packs as well. Since the tradable TOTS packs have continually matched what the red picks are, we saw that last week with the e-fig stuff. So I think that the get used to the 91 plus e-figs in your rewards, which really wasn't worth playing for last week during ultimate tots and if you add minor league tots in there too yes it does it will be nice to have the opportunity to pack somebody red like graven birch undav or darwin nunez who you didn't have the opportunity to do that with before um but you know unless you like playing weekly on the old schedule which i really didn't um you know, that's kind of a big bummer, I would say. I would say I like having that extra time, and I really hope that they continue that during FIFA 23, actually, is giving us that extra time to get that weekend league in. But as of right now, it uh, looks like it's going back to normal for at least the near future. So if you have fodder, once again, this content is insane. I think, you know, talking just back a quick summary of today's video, I'm, I'm looking to sell fodder. I'm looking to sell some of these TOTS cards even that I have flipped because I want to take the safe cash. Tonali was two okay so i bought tonalis at like 260 270 and he's all the way back up to almost 320 so that's a w we're making a lot of profit i'm probably going to take the sales on these cards because i'm not going to try to milk it for more than it's worth i'm going to take my money here and, and probably dip on a lot of these cards that we bought and stuff like that so i would do the same thing with fodder if you guys still have that like we mentioned and uh yeah let me know down in the comments what you got in your 94 plus we're gonna have a video later uh later coming out just showing all the insane packs that we got because like it was literally too good to uh to not do the 94 plus tots pack and if you have not done it take your rivals rewards today take whatever rewards and packs and upgrade packs you can muster and try to get this thing done because it's it's that worth of a gamble it's so good yeah there are some bad ones that happen but it's worth it and uh yeah it's incredible so what a day of content from EA Sports. It just came as such a surprise, and it was just wild to see all that drop yesterday on the game. Let me know down in the comments what you guys thought about it. Of course, if you did enjoy this video, put a thumbs up on it and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.